So the average salary for this trainee school period is usually about 50,000 to 100,000 depending on the bank. So I'm going to go into details about how much each bank pays for their graduate training position and their executive training position. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Rida on LabBC. If you're for the first time, I'll need you to smash that subscribe button, okay? Also, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. My handle is Rida.o. So today I'm going to be telling you or discussing the salaries for 10 of the top banks in Nigeria for graduate training rules. I'm sure that this is something you'll be interested in because I, mean, I know for a fact that banks are probably the ones who recruit graduate trainees the most in Nigeria and it's really good for you to have an idea of how much you should expect to be paid once you are recruited as a graduate trainee so I think there are some things that are very important for you to note first thing is once you are recruited or once you apply for a graduate trainee role at the bank for the first three to four months you're expected to do a training school during those three to six months depending on the bank you are going to be taught introductory courses in economics, finance, and different courses like that. So now the duration depends on the bank that you apply to. Also, the mode depends on the bank you apply to. So there are some banks that they do fully remote for their training school. Some do hybrid and some do fully physical. So I know that eBay, for example, they do remote for about three months, then three months on the job training. And I also know that GT Bank, they do their own fully physical. Then I know Sterling Bank, they do an hybrid mode, which means that some part of it will be on-site at the bank and some part of it will be online. So it depends on the bank that you apply to that will determine whether it will be physical, online or hybrid. So during this training school period, which is about three to six months, you're not going to be working at all. You're just going to be trained and you're also going to be paid as well. So there are a couple of things for you to know. Number one, we're going to stick with ranges and we're going to use medium because number one, these things change over time. Number two, all the information was sourced from the internet, which means I'm going to use an estimated median of the information of people who have dropped their salaries online. Do you understand? So if I say, for example, company X pays 200000 naira per month so that going to be a million which means that you could get employed by that company x and get paid say, to 20 to 10 or 230 and that's also fair enough because i using a median we know what median is so it may not be the exact amount but it's going to be very 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 close to the actual amount that you're going to be paid because at the end of the day what you want to do is just to kind of have an idea of how much the company is going to offer you we're going to be talking about the base salary which means that that's your take home your salary without the bonus the benefits or profit sharing and all of those things so just the base salary that's after all deductions like pension and stuff like that so the average salary for this training school period is usually about 50,000 to 100,000 depending on the bank. So I'm going to go into details about how much each bank pays for their graduate training position and their executive training position. So the period whereby you are undergoing training, you are going to be regarded as a graduate trainee, that is your role. But once you pass your assessment at the end of the training school, you are going to become an executive trainee. You are also going to receive an increase in your salary. So you are not going to be earning the same amount you are earning when you are in training school as a graduate training so the first bank that i'm going to talk about is sterling bank right so when you are going through your training school at sterling bank you are going to be paid hundred thousand naira right but the moment you are confirmed or the moment you are assessed and you pass your assessment you become an executive training and they are going to be paid to forty thousand naira but i know that sterling bank recently increased their executive training salary to about two seventy thousand so once you pass your graduate training assessment you are going to be earning two seventy k so just to recap sterling bank pays on 100k as a graduate trainee during your training school and they pay to 70,000 as an executive trainee after you've been confirmed as a permanent staff. So the second bank is Stambic IBTC and Stambic IBTC pay about 60 to 75,000 naira during training school and after you are confirmed you get paid 200,000 naira per month as an executive trainee. So the third bank is Union Bank. Union Bank pays their graduate trainees about 95,000 naira for the duration of the training school and once you are confirmed you get paid 258,000 naira as an executive trainee. 
So moving on, the fourth bank is Keystone Bank. Keystone Bank pays 50,000 naira for their trainees, their graduate trainees. And once you have confirmed as a full staff, you get paid 250,000 naira per month as an executive trainee. And the fifth bank is Zenith Bank. Zenith Bank pays about 55,000 naira for their training school. And once you have confirmed, you get paid about 150,000 naira as an executive trainee. And the next bank is GT Bank. GT Bank pays 70,000 naira for their graduate trainees during their training school period. And once you have confirmed as an executive trainee, you get paid 240,000 naira. Then the next bank is UBA. UBA pays about 100,000 naira for their graduate trainees. And once you get confirmed, you get paid 259,000 naira as an executive trainee. Then the next bank is Access Bank. Access Bank pays about 43,000 naira for their graduate trainees in training school. And once you get confirmed, you get paid 230,000 naira as an executive trainee. Then the next bank is First bank, first bank pays 56,000 naira as a graduate trainee during your training school. And once you complete your training school, you get paid 200,000 naira as an executive trainee. Then, then the last bank on my list is Wema Bank. Wema Bank pays 65,000 naira as a graduate trainee during your training school. And once you are confirmed as a full staff, then you become an executive trainee, then you get paid 250,000 naira. So that's basically a run through of about 10 of the top banks in Nigeria, how much they pay their graduate trainees and how much they pay their executive trainees. As a reiteration, the graduate training role is just for about three to six months, depending on the bank. So after the training school, you get converted into an executive trainee, a permanent staff. And so I've kind of done a calculation so that I can give you an average maximum and minimum pay to expect as an executive trainee at some of these banks that I've mentioned. So after my calculations, the average pay to expect an executive training based on these 10 banks I've mentioned is 230k per month. Do not forget that this is just base pay without benefits, bonus, or profit sharing, right? So the minimum to expect is 150,000 naira, then the maximum is 270,000 naira per month. So that has brought us to the end of today's video. Next week, I'm going to be showing you the website or the tools that I use to find the salaries online, just so that if you are looking to apply for different roles, you can just go online and find the estimate, the salary estimates for these different roles, and just so that you can even know whether you are being paid fairly or not, and to see whether it's time for you to, you know, job up. <laughs> all right, so that has brought us to the end of today's video. Do not forget if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to send me a DM on Instagram, my Andrew is Roda.o, and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up.